Hi everyone, so this is a demo of how you can reinstate the server behaviors and the databases and the component uh, panels uh, which were part of the CS6 uh, release but have been deprecated in the Dreamweaver CC release. So what we have done is uh, we have uh, uh, combine all of those features into an extension and uh, these features uh, this particular extension is available within uh, the Dreamweaver CC uh, build itself so uh, if if you are watching along I'm using a Mac machine and I need to go to applications uh, so what I'm doing is I'm looking for the extension so I'll click on Adobe Dreamweaver CC go to the configuration folder and uh, click on disabled features so this is where uh, traditionally we have added all extensions uh, of features which we have deprecated over the period of uh, years and um, this is where you can see that we have the ASP JS support and all those items which were uh, you know deprecated a long time ago so what I'm going to do now is install this and this is uh, in a ZXP format which is the latest format for uh, all extensions and uh, it is by the name of deprecated server behavior panel support so let me just go ahead and double click on it and what this will open up is the extension manager now one very important thing to note is that uh, you need to have the Adobe extension manager CC version for this to be installed properly and um, so it's basically uh, right now copying all the files which are actually required to run the server behaviors and uh, also one thing to note is once the server behavior and database panels are installed in Dreamweaver uh, we have worked with all the third party uh, extension developers as well so that uh, you are able to you know install any feature which basically uses these panels and now it is installed and uh, I'm just going to minimize this and open up Dreamweaver now uh, go to applications it will be Dreamweaver CC so double click it and uh, so the location uh, for these panels are also at the same place if you go on to the window menu that is where you should see all these uh, uh, options and features for these panels so let it just uh, start up and uh, pardon me because I have a slow machine out here so uh, let it just uh, start okay unable to find that's fine and uh, I'll just close the welcome screen and uh, we'll go to the files uh, panel and that's where I have this uh, index.php uh, so I'll just open that and I already have configured uh, all my site settings uh, for it so if you have used uh, the server behaviors before it's uh, nothing different it's the same thing and in my case uh, I've chosen testing server as PHP SQL so all the settings uh, settings remain the same and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to connect uh, to the database uh, so I'll go on to the window and there you can see all the panels are back again so you can click on databases and then uh, I'm just going to try and connect uh, and see if it works so I have a local host and uh, my username and password is uh, these uh, so I'll just select it and I can see that um, all the databases in my SQL server are loaded now uh, so so there is actually one um, problem if if this does not work uh, in case you are not able to connect and you get an error uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to go on to the user folder so I'll go on to my user folder and uh, in fact I'm already there 
so uh, in the user folder I'm sorry let me just go ahead uh, to the user folder again sorry go to folder users and in the user folder if I go on to library and application support uh, Adobe and then we have Dreamweaver CC inside that we will go on to en underscore us or uh, what whatever language pack you have installed go on to configuration inside configuration remember the connections portion and inside that we have scripts and inside the scripts we have uh, php mysql so uh, we have something uh, called db scripts out there so these two files uh, are actually not um, basically you need these two files to connect to a database and uh, by default the extension does not copy these files uh, into the connection folder so what you need to do is you need to copy those two files I'll, uh, I just copy these two files and uh, go on to my application so what I'm trying to do now is going to my uh, connection folder which is uh, made which is created by default uh, by Dreamweaver while you are trying to connect to a database so uh, this is the site which I am at right now the extension site and inside this uh, make sure that you copy these two files so I have already copied it that's why it was working so these two files need to be copied and um, and and in case you are not able to connect to the uh, database in, in case you are not able to connect to the database then uh, you need to do this so let's try it again and uh, give it localhost root root and uh, database so so it connects properly and all these um, you know steps would be mentioned uh, wherever we will be posting this particular uh, video as well so you can always pause uh, the video in case you're not able to uh, find the exact location so you can always pause that and as you can see I can see all the uh, databases so let's look at one more workflow uh, we'll go on to server behaviors and I will just go ahead and try and create a record set so maybe I want to look at uh this table called posts and i want to select all of them i'll just test it and i can see all the data is there so things seem to be working and i also have the uh, record set so let me go ahead and um, add a repeat region to this so i'll just uh, so that i can repeat some data uh, obviously you need to select the div and then do a repeat region out here 10 records at a time that's fine and inside the div I might want to add some dynamic text so dynamic text window comes out I might want to add maybe the title for it so that's it it should be working <coughs> and uh, I'll just click on the live view it shows me all the text which is there and uh, basically all of it should be working so uh, if you have any extension which runs on top of these uh, server behaviors uh, as you uh, DMX zone uh, on the home page uh, on its home page has uh, mentioned that uh, it is working and we worked with them to make sure that all these extensions uh, work properly once our ex server behavior extension uh, is installed so all DMX uh, zone uh, extension our extensions are compatible or in fact any other extension uh, house which builds extensions on top of server behaviors it should be working properly so yeah so this is this is it and I hope uh, this uh, video would be helpful for you to get back the feature and get back the feature in case you want to use it uh, with the dream viewer CC build and uh, just in case you want to you know mm, install uh, basically use other features which have been deprecated like for example uh, spry and uh, features like that uh, and specifically if you want to use those uh, we basically have given support 
for existing uh, pages which use a spry so if you open up a spry page you can always edit uh, in the dreamweaver cc build as well but uh, for creation obviously you need to go back to dreamweaver cs6 so yeah that's it for uh, this particular demo and i hope you liked it uh, and I, I hope uh, i hope it is useful for you and uh, we will be posting all these uh, steps and all the locations uh, in the forum so hope this was helpful and thank you for watching